Yes. You you have a literature degree. So writing, has that kind of been a passion of yours? You, you mentioned on one of your songs on YouTube that you turned a poem into a, a now a song. I think you're still working <laughs> on it. You mentioned, did you write a lot of poetry or even songs when you were young? How did you get this, this love for music that you have recently developed? Tell us about how you came into music, musical parents, musical background, anything. Yeah, like I, mean, I mean, thanks for that that question, both. I love stories. I've always loved reading. I've always loved writing. And musically um, has always been a part of my childhood. Uh, my grandfather, who was a watchmaker by trade, when I was growing up, had a franchise of a record store in Montreal. So my parents always had great records in the house. We'd always be listening to music. I had a very old style of music. It'd be very 50s, 60s rock and roll. Mm. And then, um, yeah, I picked up, my dad would play his songs or you know old Beatles songs on his guitar for me and my brothers growing up. And as I got older, loving stories, it, it's only natural that eventually I would pick up his guitar and eventually I would start writing songs. When you go to McGill and you're in literature, the ghost of Leonard Cohen is everywhere. And um, I mean that in the best of senses, you know, this right, is yeah. also, I went to school in the era of the original iPods and we're listening, you know, I remember walking through all the halls, listening to his songs, just wishing I could be like him. And um, so I think, I think it was inevitable that I would eventually start writing songs. I used to write poems. I just write anything I could get, think of short stories, poems. I wrote, couple of terrible novels and a couple of terrible screenplays just because I wanted to be sharp and um, eventually just songwriting just came more and more what I what I felt like doing. Really? Novels? Yeah. I didn't say they were good though. It was just something. Right. <laughs> What'd you do with them? Have you ever thought Absolutely. about publishing them? They... Absolutely uh, nothing with them. Uh, when email first came out years ago and I was very young, there'd be like emails that your friends in school would just send to you. And somehow I got the idea, I think because Charles Dickens used to write books a, a chapter at a time is I wrote a novel just through email, like a chapter at a time. Oh, and wow. before I knew it, the novel was written and it was not very good and I, nothing has ever come of it and nothing ever will. And then in undergrad, I took uh, an independent study course where I wrote a novel um, about basically a satire of Quebec politics and also not very good. I did, I did well in the course, but I felt bad for my, uh, advisor, the professor, because he was expecting like um, a really long, almost thesis on satire in Canadian mm. literature, short novella. That's how I sold it to him. But uh -huh. what he thought was like a 16 page essay and then like 120 page. <laughs> it was, a re it was really self-indulgent and <laughs> <laughs> but enough to get you through. It was enough. Yeah. And, and it was, it was a lot of fun for me. And as far as if, if university is about stretching your creative legs, it, it was definitely a highlight. All right. So that's the writing aspect. How about uh, instrument wise, you play the guitar. Um, do you play any other instruments? I, I think I've seen a video of you playing piano. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. yeah I, I self taught on the guitar, uh, self taught a bit on the piano. I'm not particularly great at either of them, which is a problem if you're a studio musician, but it can actually be quite helpful if you're just a songwriter because the only thing that I know is chords and I have to catch melodies in those chords that I think are catchy that I can remember without knowing where on the uh, sheet the notes would land. Mm. Or at least I like to tell myself that it's an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it works. Mm. Uh, so you were able to collaborate a little bit with them or did they pretty much just do whatever follow whatever kind of pattern you had or instructions you had for the song no it was very it was very collaborative and i was very lucky to be working with some outstanding talent just a shout out to calvin hartwick at the dreamhouse studios and shout out to sean royal uh who's, who's a local incredible musician from toronto and john foster who played the drums um it would be they would hear my songs and as we got into the studio they would come up with ideas and they say what do you think about this what do you think about that and i would I would most of the time say, let's try it. And most of the time we tried it, it fit because they know what they're doing. A little bit. So this is hard. free tonight? Free tonight. Close your eyes and feel my face and take me in your warm embrace the fears inside will always show but hear the only truth i know the shadows will not find you in the dark city boys and city girls and sleepless nights of city thrills electric heat 
For wildfires and promises of wild desires The promises won't keep you warm tonight Our worst fears, if we're being true Are growing old and feeling through With faded dreams we never kept Broken lives and hearts that wept but our worst fears are shadows in the dark Cause growing up means growing free And growing free is the only thing that ever matters So close your eyes and kiss me sweet and hold me close beneath the sheet that instant spark that endless glance the breathless touch of true romance keep you and me free forevermore Close your eyes and kiss me sweet and hold me close beneath the sheet. That instant spark, that endless glance, the breathless touch of true romance. The words don't matter anyhow. The only thing that matters now is you and me feeling free tonight. Just you and me. Feeling free tonight. All right, nice. That was free tonight. Uh, another alive performance. Uh, that was great. So tell us a little bit about uh, that song, where it came from. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll start.